Exotic Dog Talk. The number one dog podcast in the world. Exotic Dog Talk. Big Wolf. Tune in. All right, we back with another episode of Exotic Dog Talk, and this one a little bit different. You know, we've been seeing all the point of view from the guys, so we actually got, you know, some females on board today. We got the real Frenchie sisters in the house today, so. What's up, what's up, what's up with y'all? My name is Coco Black, it's your girl, we the real Frenchie sisters. That's a, that's a pretty dog right there. Thank you. So I want to ask you, how did you get in a dog game? Honestly, like. I was dating this dude, and he gave me, like, two two Frenchies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just had them as, like, pets, really. Mm-hmm. And then I just started, like, following more people with Frenchies and Frenchies. And I was like, man, okay, all yeah. right. So then we had a um, had one litter. Boom. How did that feel to have a litter of Frenchies? It was cool. And knowing how much they go for. So well, you, listen, but no, I started out with like some, you know, little regular dollars. But then like after that, I mean, that third letter, when I made like, I want to say when I made like 10K in like an hour mm-hmm. off of just selling, selling puppy, I was like, oh yeah, this is it. This is it. This is yeah, the it. move right here. <laughs> so I got, it was just, it's been, it's been, mm. It's been a long ride. So Not like what's too long, but you know, I just I really just started it's been like two years, so So what's your like day to day like maintenance for for like the dogs and stuff? Do you have to wake up and do like what I do, like clean shit and like mm-hmm. so like what is your like so like tell Oh me. my god, like for me to be the type of girl I am is I like man. Oh, I just wanna be solid. Yeah, yeah, Four o'clock exactly. in the morning, I'm up. Letting them out all day, cleaning up shit all day long. <laughs> See, that's especially what they ain't going to tell you. Especially this puppy. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'll keep her out. I'll let her outside. And then she'll come right back in and then just shit and piss all over the fuck. I'll be like, oh, my. So, it's it's a job. It's really a job. Like, So, so do you think people can actually do this as a career? Like, that? this actually can be their full-time job? Yeah. You Definitely. Should, yeah. Like it's it's a full time it's a full time job, like a real deal full time job dealing with Frenchies. Cause oh they're high maintenance, they just Yeah, vet runs. Yeah, trying to keep them clean. They shed oh, a lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we just don't touch on like the real thing, you know, like we you know, we let you know it's a lot of money in them then, but we also try to let y'all know that it's a lot of maintenance that come with it, you know what I'm saying? The dog shed a lot. You know what I'm saying? They be using the bathroom wherever they want to. They think they're humans, but you know what I'm saying? That's that's how the dogs is. That's why we love these dogs and um that's why we uh came together and put this uh this whole podcast so we can hear from, you know what I'm saying, ladies like the real Frenchy sisters and see, you know, like what's your day to day like uh how many dogs you have? I have seven dogs. See yeah, so that's 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 a lot of maintenance. Seven and it is a hassle. So, like, when people be, when we be charging them prices for them puppies, people just don't understand, like. AI, C-sections. Man, going. Cadesterone tests. This is a lot behind. The food itself is about $200. And that's, like, every two weeks sometimes. And that is, it's, that's, that's nothing. Then when you got these fringes, you can't just feed them any type of stuff. Then you got to put this and this. It's, it's, a, right. it's really, yeah, like, it's really a job. Dog. Yeah, some really dogs got, definitely got to have a raw. So, like, how you feel about being, like, a female in the game, in the business? Do you feel like it helps you being a female that you got to deal with mostly dudes? Or do you feel like that work against you? No, it's like, I think I get major love for being a female. Because, like, dudes, they be seeing, like, what? You into this? Oh, we got to chop it up. And it, they just show me it's, it's love. And that's what I love about, like, this bully world, like, it's all love with everybody. And once you start connecting her, it's like family, and and it's 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 no different. So like, basically, you've been you've been getting the love here in other state. Sometimes yeah. you know what I'm saying you encounter your assholes, and you know what I'm saying you encounter your. But you know you got to just work around it. So. I ain't met no assholes yet. So yeah. far, it's been straight. Uh, yeah. So straight introduce up. introduce your friend to the to us. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Lennox. Okay. Hey. I'm just friend. I'm here for support. Okay. She breeds always poodles. Yeah. You well, you in the dog game. A little bit. Yeah, you in the I'm dog trying. game. Yeah. You should what's what's your uh poodle brand uh name? What you got a His name, name is Hancho. I don't have a brand yet. I'm starting. Just, okay. just trying to get in there. Trying to get my foot in the door for sure. But like the mini poodles or the big poodles? The toy poodles. The toy poodles? Oh, yeah. Them dope. I like those. And we going to make a French poodle. For sure. No, they doing it with the bullies and stuff. They mixing them up to make them, you know what I'm That's saying? I, I wouldn't be surprised if I seen one. <laughs> so, um... Other than that, t tell us a little bit just about your journey. Like, uh, any memorable moments that you had? Like, while you've been... Dealing with the dogs and it like, like yeah. real like gratification moments. Like. <clears throat> one of my um, one of my girls, she um, she's about two and a half now, and she been like we've been hitting her, and she has not took like we was just spending money back to back, back to back, and she does not took. And then one time, oh my god, she took and she she blessed me with nine. Yeah, damn, first baby. litter and. It was just like wow, cause like I, I was really thinking about like just saying giving it away to That's family good. because you know we we um we working over here. I love you, but you know yeah. you ain't. So and then she she I guess she must have heard me say <laughs> something. She must have heard me be like I'm just giving away, and then she blessed me with nothing but merles, Ooh. nothing but merles, and you killed. Them. Man, you killed that was that day when I yeah. made that. Yeah, that ten, <laughs> and you like okay, okay. This, yeah. So you know, it was a, it was a real big because like some days, like honestly, I'm gonna tell you, I hit her with um with Avatar. We just left. Yeah, her. with Avatar. And shout out Avatar. She, okay, um, I don't mean to cut you off, but I do want to touch on Avatar. You know, what I'm saying Avatar was a dog we had on the show, and after the show premiered or whatever, he ended up getting an offer for Avatar. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. It. I don't know if he want me to actually disclose the offer, but it definitely wasn't a hundred thousand. It I'm wasn't. Here, I'm, I'm here to tell you now. It was, you know, close to, you know, up there. It was up there. It was a big six figure check, and you mm -hmm. know, he decided. I don't know what's what's his decision, but I did. I did want to let the audience know Avatar did get a big offer from. Him. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, anonymous person, and that was big. And you know, she run her blood with Avatar. That's crazy. Let me tell you, I seen that. Yeah, I seen that check. Yeah, you seen the check? He and I was like, check. so what you gonna do? I said the same thing. <laughs> and but you know what? I feel him because you know sometimes these dogs are they not. Just the dog. It's the brand. It's, it's the, the brand. brand. Yeah. He like he was telling me like that dog. His dog can make. We can do that, and, and he said he told me. And that, I was man. like, you know, I feel you because that's how I feel about some of my some of my other dogs. Like mm -hmm. the money's not the money. Sometimes the money ain't even it ain't even it. What's the most you sold a dog for? Uh, the most I sold my dog for was I'm just like seven. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. How I felt when you got that seven thousand. Are you feel good? <laughs> You feel like yeah, I got sell racks. <laughs> yeah. See, that's why I say like that's just like the reward. So, you know, you just heard about her putting in the work, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, cleaning up after them, doing all that. So when she got that seven thousand, she felt like that was the reward for the work she had put in. So, you know, that's another thing we try to speak on. You know, it ain't just like Okay, it's a ton of money right here. No, it's a ton of work right here too. But it is also a ton of money. It's like which one you gonna choose? You gonna work or you gonna let somebody else get the money? That money really be like just an, an investment to like yeah, you gotta definitely upgrading, invest. Yeah, upgrading this, upgrading. Oh, you know, I've been wanting to get this type of food, but you know, it's been up, it's been high. So exactly. now, boom, I got here, so I can move. And it's this upgrade. It's really just upgrading. So sometimes people think, you know, when we get that money, we gonna ball out. No, we not. We really just upgrade, buy new dogs. Oh, put money back into dog, the kennel. This dog, yeah. his this dog stud fee four thousand dollars. Oh, I need to put this up here for this stud fee. So sometimes it don't even really be about oh, I'm, I got this money. No, shoot, that seven thousand go to this stud fee. Exactly, shoot. exactly. exactly. So it's really, you got to keep investing. An investment, yeah, and that really. way, but that way you keep growing. You got some people that actually get the money right then and there, and they get the money. And like you say, they go ball out. But those the people at kennels you never see grow right. you know what i'm saying like that's something that i had noticed in the game like the people that don't reinvest in their kennels they usually fall 
like to the wayside and then the people that actually keep investing, put money into their kennels, I see them thriving. Because yeah. I sit here and I look at certain dogs and I be like, damn, why I ain't got that dog? You know what I'm saying? Mm. But then I also know what I'm working towards. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. so like, like what, 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 like, what is your like dog that you are working towards right now? Like, I'm working towards that Isabella Fluffy that I just left out of here. She got it up. I'm trying to work, but I really, um, honestly, right now I'm working on just building up that Fluffy kennel. But my goal is definitely to get that Isabella Fluffy. Yeah, that thing is beautiful. Yeah, you go it's to dog beautiful. shows and stuff. I do go to dog shows. I yeah. do go to them, and I, I've been to two of them. But my first one was was the one I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta keep coming here. Yeah, I gotta keep coming to one of these. What shows. Made, What made you feel like that? Just to, like I said, so much love. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's You're just so female. much love. Like we see, went I went to the show, and I'm like, oh no, nah, this ain't my type. Of. Really? I mean, I ain't saying it like that, but it's just like. <clears throat> It's just like, I don't know, like when I look at myself, I look at myself as a brand, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And like, I always took life that way. Like whatever right. it is that I had going on, I try to see how can I revolve it around my work. Right. You know, so even like with the dog shows, I plan on like doing a dog ball to where the women get they, they dresses and the dudes in their suits come together with other breeders and, you know, you know, everybody, you know. Doing okay. okay in life to where you know they should be able to come and you know talking. Wait, we gonna dress our dog up. We ain't doing dogs. Oh yeah, nah. This this is a networking social event. Okay. It ain't more or less like leave your dogs at home. Mm. Yeah, if you want, you know, you do the dog show, do the dog show. But this gonna be some gonna be a little bit bigger than that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna try Make to do sure something a little bit. Bigger. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. You in the building. You y'all got to You got to rep. Like I feel like you got you hold such a big title like in Atlanta for like the women. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be the leading lady for the the leading face for women with these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like right. and that that's a big title to hold. You know what I'm saying? What you right. think about that? Like you that's think you can do that? You think you committed enough to the grind? I'm committed. Yeah? I'm the, I come to the show every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All that every day. Exactly. So I'm definitely committed. So people Yes, let's I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'll be dope. So you got her right here, the real Frenchy sister. Let like y'all know that she really committed to the Frenchy game. Yeah. So um when it come down to like marketing your dogs, like what like how you how you market them? Like how? Uh I do um the reels on Instagram, Instagram like reels, cute little funny little yeah reels to keep on keep different audience reach out. Um, I'm I'm big on Facebook with the Frenchy, uh, the Frenchy groups. Yeah, so I'm man, always I gotta in, get a Facebook. Yeah, man. Um, somebody Facebook create still, me a Facebook. Facebook still still <laughs> Facebook is Facebook. Somebody definitely where it's Facebook. at. <laughs> you know you can't do too much, but Facebook definitely that Frenchy world, that bully world, oh it's crazy on Facebook. Facebook yes. Okay, yeah, we got we we be in a Facebook, so yes. yeah, officially we have we will have a Facebook soon. It's yes. coming, like it's literally three, I... literally on the computer right now. Yeah, so um, <laughs> yeah, so the marketing. I would also go to a lot of um, like I say, I go to all the little bully fests. I talk to everybody, I follow everybody. Like any, if you say bully, Frenchies, anything on Instagram, I'm following. You. Yeah, I'm talking like, yeah. How, yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm talking. And you, you know what? And like, that's a thing that I feel like not touching back on the shows. I feel like I might start coming to more shows. I just, but it's you just should. like it's just. It's a networking. Yeah, I mean, but it's it's also it's networking with a lot of egos involved, of and like that's like. And like that's what make like turn me off from shows. Like yeah. have to deal with people and their egos. Oh, like that really what turned me off from the shows. And so I mean, know, I'm just being honest. You know it's what I'm nothing saying? Nothing walking in there like listen. I know my dog is that shit. But see, I know I got that shit. So you know what I'm okay. saying? I know I got it. It's I know okay. what I got. It's it's because, you know, you know your dog. Yeah. Shit ain't nothing wrong with feeling your dog. You know, but it is like that. It is. You know, it's very competitive. I don't seem. To Cry, mad, you know, cussing, but you know, it's all part of the Yeah. It's all part of the game. I so when you jumped into the game, did you have a, a like a well sought after dog or you just came in with like a regular color? No, I, um, so as, like I said, I had two girls. So that's how you came in. That's how I came in. Exactly. 
Okay. She came in exotic. Okay. Right in exotic. Okay. Okay. So came in with straight exotics, and that's all. We're gonna that, go to the top. So, so like, what you feel like, like, where you feel like the industry is headed now? That like they got so many different other exotics. You got, Listen, you got. I just pinks, see, huskies. No, you I, got all. Uh, is a, you got. No. It's a lot of. Them. I just seen a hairless Frenchie. A hairless Frenchie. Listen, listen. I was like, this, is this got to be the new wave? But I didn't see two of them. They've been promoting a hairless Frenchie. Damn, I ain't seen that. Y'all see I that? Wish I could pull that it up. Me. That's crazy, I I pull bro. Two sixty, but it's a hairless Frenchie. And Damn. I don't know if that's the new way, but I only seen it twice now on my timeline. How they get it to be? No I hair. don't even know. I, I mean, because you know the DNA of the dogs is definitely, and you know it what I'm saying? Hairless. Yeah, that's crazy. When we finish, I'm going to show you this. Yeah. I'm going to show you this. I'm so, just like, wow. So you got like, some litters on the ground right now? Some folks still? No, I don't, but I just. um. Which one? This, this your personal pet? Yeah, that's my baby. She's okay. a. Okay, yeah. this this was your keeper out of one of your litter you yes. produce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I have her and um, it's another one that just looks just like her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. What's, but, um, what's your plans have, for her? Honestly, it's so crazy, and this that's why I said the world is so small, and I'm I love the wooly world. I don't already talk to um dude who was just right here, mm -hmm. and for her. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was like, dang, that's you. So that's my plans. And that's right. we just locked in and made sure what yeah. we was talking about was talking about. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we hopefully, definitely, you, gonna you know see. what I'm saying? You should be the face for the women leading the whole culture. You know what I'm saying? Putting it out there for the, you know, the real French sisters. You know what I'm saying? They really repping for Atlanta and they really coming with quality. They really coming with exotic dogs. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to like, y'all got to support that. You know what I'm saying? This, you know what I'm saying? This is a male dominant game and for, you know, women to come in and, and handle that. We got to support it, get behind it. You know what I'm saying? Acknowledge it and whatever we can do, you know, throw the assist for, you know what I'm saying? We got to do that for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like the lilacs. Lilacs. Right here. Mm -hmm. Nugget. Um, Nugget. All, all. That I get from all of them. We yeah. with her. Um, platinums. Uh, I definitely, I'm definitely looking for uh, Isabella. So, but you know, I yeah. got that locked in. Exactly. So, um, but. What you think about the price on those? Is it, is it, is it worth it or not? It depends on the reader. Sometimes it's like. The bond you build build with them, mm -hmm. and it makes the price. Cause sometimes you got people who just like they charge you, and then they don't they don't, they don't care about it at yeah, all. They exactly. Just, they just charge you, and yeah. they don't you know make a bond with your whole this this and this. They won't even answer the phone yeah, for you in two weeks. So <laughs> you know, yeah. sometimes the price is is really, but you know you got you got to pay for what you want, and yeah. if you want to keep that quality and keep you know the signature of exotic and you know. A one all this stuff, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. That's real. You gotta do what you gotta do. So 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 you ain't using no finesse moves in the game? You ain't got no finesse moves? No, I'm I'm asking you. Like, you, I mean, you should have a shortcut or yeah, something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta have some motion going. So no um, shortcuts, that's it. With, right um, yeah, so sticking together in the A. So like, so like, how you feel about Atlanta and like the dog market here in Atlanta? Do you feel like you have to go like other places to outsource for your studs? Or, or I mean, I know I heard you say you use Avatar, but other than like Avatar, what are like what other dogs that you really be having your eye on? Um, really, uh, and I love I love Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I don't like the dog world here. Is 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 growing? You know? Okay. And I, I still see like the, the, the motherfuckers like outside, like in Cali. Yeah, Cali I see yeah, them. Yeah. And yeah. I ain't gonna, and I don't, when I say this, and I, when I say this, and I don't want no disrespect, but like the, sometimes home, they don't really respect your, 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 your mind of how you run your dog. You know? Exactly. And you do sometimes gotta go outside. But so far, it's all been love here. Yeah. You know, it's all been love here. So, yeah. 
Um, so you got your uh, whole booth and tent and everything for when you uh, go to the dog shows and set no. up? No. no. I don't do that. I just yeah. walk around, mingle. Oh, I like this dog. I'm really, I really be on a hunt for a stud. Okay. I don't really need no, I don't really have a booth or nothing. Unless I have like a litter. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm really on a hunt for a stud. Yeah, so your thing is getting I'm just getting trying to the, see what's, the, what's going yeah. on. Yeah, so, your, so like when you have um, mostly females. Mm-hmm. So and you just out like mm-hmm. so high. It's females. Yeah. That's it. That's crazy. All females. No boys. Just oh, females. That's crazy. So we we're French sisters. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. So she only have females, so if y'all definitely have, you know what I'm saying, some dope studs. She definitely coming to all the shows and she I'm popping looking. out. She looking, you know what I'm saying? She looking. She already got some of that avatar blood. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're gonna um Make sure we touch on that, and we're gonna make sure we touch on um different like you do bullies, just, or is it just just straight Frenchies, just straight Frenchies, yeah. cause that's how you came in. So yeah, no so, bullies, no, no not bullies, yeah, but they're cute, but they just not my thing. Yet. I just need some calm, you know, lazy, just want to chill. Exactly. Nice, but no, she's not like that. I'm surprised she's really this calm right now. Usually yeah. hyper, huh? Out of control, but I think it's because she's around her. Her her panel, her crew, so yeah. they just be doing their own thing. But I'm not surprised she's she's calm yeah usually the females are very hyper though and that's another thing they won't tell you but i mean you know for each his own though she look very calm she look good she look good that's one of avatar daughters no i wish no yeah. no, no 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 this is um, so what's her her mom is who i am using the avatar for her mom is on oh, all okay. girl okay. she's a uh, blue okay you um you did dna it, not yet but i just I just looked at the website and I'm gonna get some DNA testing on her because I wanna. She's she's nice. Yeah, she's so and since, since we're looking for sponsors right now, Animal Genetics, if you're listening, hello, you know, hello. shoot us an email. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. We got something going. Hello. So, yeah, it's animal Genetics, though, guys. Yeah, that's that's who I use for my DNA testing. You know what I'm saying? They pretty good company. You know what I'm saying? You mail the stuff off, they send it right back to you. So, what you see yourself like in the next five years in the Frenchie game? Like, what you see the Frenchie sisters like? What like what you see yourself at in five? Oh man. Starting, I see myself charging about 25, 35, maybe 45 for <laughs> pay for a dog, you know, with no hesitation. Yeah, and getting know, it, yeah. Offers, you know, but it's coming. We we working step by step and you know once it once it hit, once it connects, it's, it's it. So what's keeping your dedication going for? The the dogs, just you know, just to to see your creation, which you was like, oh, if I if I mix this with this, mm-hmm. it's gonna create this, and it's just like, did yeah, that, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's fine, okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah. and you know, just to see, it's just, it's just, just to see the process of it. it, it's it's really it's really a great feeling experience, like, and to see where you started from is to where you where you at right now. So it's yeah. it's really. So in five years, you see yourself like, like yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah, that's real. That's yeah, real. we gonna be saying talking like yeah. We're gonna come back on the show in five years and have we're gonna see how you know how she don't work her win. I know she probably gonna have some of the craziest, crazy because she <laughs> already that hairless yeah. dog, that hairless Frenchie. Yeah, you gonna go hairless? Hell no, that shit was not it. So what else you feel like we need to touch on as far as like your um, as far as your kennel and, and, and things that you need to tell people out there about you know that don't know about them. You know this this is the person behind the brand. So when they go on your Instagram, they actually see the brand. So like. Tell the people something a little bit about you that's, you know, will make them want to come and spend their money with you. Um, we're reading out straight quality. Straight you know? quality. Straight quality. It's a, um, it's team and it's nothing but, you know, love coming from over here. And mm, good business. Yeah, good business. Like, mm-hmm. a real good business. And we're just really building a bond. Like, we like to see... I want to know, like, if I sell this dog to you, I want to know, like, two years now. What you going to sell? No, I'm not even two years. I'm checking up on the dog. Like, yeah. how does that, how does that do it? Because I want to know, like, 
how I'm presenting my apology to you. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I want to see what you're producing. Yeah, yeah. So after that, and then after they have puppies, you know, I want to know what them puppies look like. Cause it's like, dang, yeah. like we building. Like I want to know what my blood. Like. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. That's how. So I'm, we'll say yeah. So we'll say, definitely say. Five years, you know what I'm saying, the real French sisters will have their own bloodline because she's actually working towards it. You know what I'm saying? You see her putting in the work. She letting you know, um, you know, just about the everyday thing. So, like, what would you tell the new breeder? Like, if they was just, just getting in, like, and then get the alley-oop from some dude or somebody and, and they just needed to get in the game. Like, what's your advice? What you mean, like, get, you know? Like, get a dog. Like, how can they, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your advice to, like, okay, let's just say they have a dog. Yeah. So, what would be your advice to them with the dog that they have, like? Mm, dang, like, it, it, it takes, it's not going to happen right then and there. It's going to take steps. You may start out with this type of dog, you know, and this type of dog, but it's all going to end up, like, where you want to be at. It's not gonna happen right then and there. Yeah, it's still nights, you know, where you gotta clean up shit all through at night. The dog shit everywhere. It's it seems like dang, I don't want to do this no more. Like it it it, it takes time. Yeah. It really takes time. Yeah. So don't give up. And like you know, you gotta invest. You know, don't spend That's it. That's another thing. Don't yeah. spend it. Like, really, yeah. like, really invest. Put it back into the kennel. Put it back into it like that so you can keep growing. You won't never get stagnant in your yeah. kennel. You know what I'm saying? It always room for growth. Exotic dog talk. And like I said, this episode was a little bit different. We brought the females in to get their aspect of the game. And the real Frenchie sisters, I'm, um, I'm glad that y'all came out and shared the, the knowledge with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Exotic Dog Talk, the number one dog podcast in the world. Exotic Dog Talk, Big Wolf, tune in.